Dear Pixie, you asked us how can we prepare ourselves for first contact. Our main response to this would be relax, enjoy, have fun and let go of any grasping desire to see the light ship and certainly let go of any anger you may be harbouring towards those who have delivered these messages if things do not manifest as predicted. Anger will block your ability to see, grow, heal and understand and hinders ascension. Anger is an emotion of darkness, not of light. So take stock of your emotions at this time and let them all be emotions of lightness, of light and of free-flowing non-resistance. Let everything unfold as it should. As our dear aspect in light, Adamu, recently said, lighten up. I have a feeling that very soon each of our individual strengths will be needed and I feel a need for reprioritizing everything. I'm doing it in my life and it all feels so confusing at times. Your feelings are completely correct. Each of your individual strengths will be needed in the coming days, months and years ahead leading to the culmination of the ascension in 2012. Reprioritizing everything is most definitely part of a consciousness shift such as your planet is undergoing and doing this clears blocks of energy from your living space, your life, the blocks within your sphere that is you and releases karma. One is truly lightening the load when one reprioritizes and if you have had this feeling, this is a marker for you to know you are standing within alignment, embracing balanced light flow and are receiving the correct transmissions that shall indeed lead you forward at this time. One such as you who has asked this question is indeed ready to help others and lead them forward also, for your instincts and knowings are finely tuned. We see much light in the being that has asked this question of us. Confusion is indeed natural and understandable for the reality you now experience and the energies you find yourself living within and embracing is so new and so different from that which you have known in this lifetime before. But that is the key word here, lifetime. For we assure you that you have done this before, in other lifetimes, on planetary structures other than Earth. Clarity shall come as your bodies and brains catch up and integrate and thus align with your new consciousness. I feel like I'm being tested in many challenges of my life each day and I know many others are being challenged just as much. Indeed, this is true, dear one. Challenges are coming to all on your planet now. They can be seen as devastating situations that have been done unfairly to them by pure chance. Or they can be seen with clarity as situations that have been called into your reality by your own consciousness as opportunities for growth and further releasing from third density, taking your consciousness higher. They are then seen as gifts and lessons and one gives thanks for them. What can we do to help get through these very tough times? One can realize the duality of the situation here. On the one hand, these are very tough times, yet on the other hand, they are glorious times where all the gifts the universe has to offer can now be accessed. Always stay in balance and replace any dark, negative or fearful thought with one of confidence, knowing, gladness and excitement. For remember, as you think, so you are. Your reality shall match your thought. It is your thought and the responding emotion that creates the reality you experience. How can we learn what our true missions are? Connectedness to the inner space within will always bring a knowing of one's mission. 
There are those you call light workers and way showers that are here to help you discover your mission. But ultimately, it is you that knows what it is, and it is you that shall discover it and live it. Stay connected to the inner knowing and ask to be shown your mission. If you ask with a pure heart, you will be led to that which you need to know by synchronicity. Are there any tips or tricks to keeping our lives positive and productive in the right ways? It is all centered in your thoughts and your emotions. Behave the way you would behave if you were already living in the world you want to live in. React as you would react when the very thing you want has manifested. The thought and emotion comes first, then this shall manifest in actuality. Once you have lived this experience individually, you will then see how this can work collectively. We can tell you now that there are many who live this way and they have truly found their Nirvana. We are here to show you how you can find this place for yourselves. Does it matter where we are physically when first contact takes place? Is this only happening in the US? It does not matter where you are in the world. Contact with your galactic family is available for all. We are the White Winged Collective Consciousness of nine.